Hey up everyone, I'm back with another painting time lapse and I am temporarily back to Collie's although not for long, I'll be moving away from Collie's again on my next painting and this one is a more unusual colour anyway so he is the first Collie that I've ever painted of this colour and maybe the only one I'll ever do because you don't get many seal mills which is what this dog is he belongs to somebody that I know from doing dog agility and he does agility himself. His name is Styx and he's just turned five years old I think I saw on Facebook today when I was recording this. On this occasion I had the chance to take the reference photos of Styx when I saw his owner to show a few months back when she was first ordering this painting. It's always nice to get my own photos because I can use my big camera with my good lenses on front and I can get the dog in the position that I want and in the kind of lighting that I want. When you're using other people's photos you can find yourself a little bit at the mercy of their photography skills and what have you which are not always the best. Some people send me fabulous photos but like I say I always like to take my own and work from my own photos if I can. It's just not always possible, but this time it were, so that were all good. <laughs> I decided here to do a similar kind of background as what I did with Blue the Working Cocker Spaniel. I'll link to that video above if you've not seen it. But yeah, I, I went with this same sort of very subtle mottled kind of background. And I just darkened it a little bit compared to Blue so that it matched Sticks colouring a little bit more. Blue were a, a golden cocker whereas Styx has got much darker tones like rich dark browns and greys and things like that going on. So I just darkened it a little bit to fit with his colouring a little bit better. And when I posted the very early updates on this painting, his, his only were a little bit worried that he were going to get lost in that background. <laughs> and I said, well, it'll not be case further that line because I will be increasing contrast and highlights and all that kind of thing so it will pop from that background eventually. But yeah she were a little bit worried about that and then she got me a little bit worried about it and but it all turned out good in end she realised that it, it were it were a case of that it would pop once I managed to get some more work done on it. I think you can see already that the colours in background are, are quite a bit more muted than they are on dog. There's more richness in dog and also a lot more contrast, so that helps him pop out from it. So about his colouring seal mail, what seal basically is, is like a ghost sable. It's when the sable colouring is only partially expressed, it only comes through slightly. So when you get a dog that's seal and white, it might at first glance just look like a black and white but when you get closer you can see like brown shades and things like that coming through. Now some black and white dogs they just bleach a lot in sun so they can have brown shades in them anyway but a seal and white will look a little bit different. It'll have different shades of brown coming through in a certain way so you can tell the difference usually between a seal and white and what they call a poor black where the black doesn't stay black and it bleaches really easily as soon as sun gets on it and then obviously they have to have the merle gene as well in order to make a seal merle and i don't think this colour's even recognised with kennel club in uk i think his breeder had some trouble actually listing him as his proper colour on his registration so <laughs> yeah it's not a very common colour but there's a lot of colours in Border Collies and people don't even realise. They think that they're all black and white. and There must be oh dozens and dozens of different colours in Border Collies that people don't even realise exist. They've probably got one of the biggest ranges of colourations in all the breeds, to be honest. It's just that black and white and black tri make up the majority of the breed. But there's, there's so many different colours that they do otherwise come in. I think one of my favourite parts of painting this coloration was the transition between the really dark rich browns through to your ochres and then going into your blue silvery greys. It was a, a really nice transition to be able to do. It's quite surprising and maybe sounds a bit nerdy from some people's perspective just how satisfying it is to be able to paint transitions between colour and things like that. <laughs> if you're not an artist you just don't get these things. And I am asked to do a lot of collies so it is a redeeming quality about collies, the fact that well 
I am biased towards them anyway because they're a breed that I've always had. But also that the very variable, you get different coat lengths and types and you get different ear carriages and you get all different colours, even eye colours are different. So, so yeah, they are, you know, quite interesting to do in the fact that they are very variable in appearance. So anyway, I've been using my usual acrylics for this, which is mostly Winsor & Newton Professional, a few Galleria as well, and also Liquitex. I've just ordered some more Liquitex and also Golden, so I'm going to try them out and see what they're like. I'm also working on Fabriano Artist Eco Hot Press Watercolour Paper 300 pound or 640 GSM. It's not gessoed, I did go through a stage of gessoing and to be honest I didn't really like it, it just, I just couldn't really get it as smooth as I'd like to get it and it would just like, ended up like paintbrush streaky or I tried applying it in different ways and it was just too much messing around so I've stopped doing it and to be honest it, it works fine without it anyway so I've got paintings that are years old now and they've not degraded in any way whatsoever so I'm not really worried about that I've also never varnished any of my works either, ever. But because they're generally destined to end up under glass, they don't really need that kind of protection anyway as a painting that's on a canvas and it's not going to be under glass. So anyway, my next painting after this is going to be a German Shepherd mix type puppy. We're just a puppy and it passed away really young, so it had to be portrayed as a pup because it never got chance to grow into an adult dog. And that'll be the next painting that's coming along, so one to keep an eye out for. And also I've got uh, another charcoal drawing of a cat that I'm going to do a tutorial of, so something other than dogs and collies for a change. <laughs> I think there were some people that did appreciate the charcoal horse drawing that I did recently, that I, the last video that I uploaded. So yeah, I'm going to do some more charcoal tutorials as well. Because I'm really busy with the Christmas commissions for now, it might be a little bit difficult for me to get a tutorial done before Christmas or before New Year, so it's something that will probably come in New Year, to be honest. I'll try and get another time lapse up though in the meantime. And if you've got any suggestions of tutorials that you'd like me to do from any paintings that I've done that I've not already done a tutorial on, then let me know in comments and I'll see about adding that to the list of tutorials that I'm thinking of doing. I think I'm coming towards the end of this painting now and as I've done with other videos I will do a final reveal where you get to have a closer look at it all finished and completed. And if you've enjoyed this video, please get a like and if you've not subscribed, then consider doing that as well so that you can keep up to date with all my new uploads that are going to be coming. I'll provide links to all the other places that you can follow me, like on Facebook, Instagram and also I've got a, a new email newsletter that I've started that you can also join. So I'm just airbrushing the base of this portrait now and then it's just a case of adding a signature and it's all done. And it's time for the final reveal, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye!